what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you guys the best players to use in the new split squad one event drop a like if you guys are excited man if you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so we're on the road to 1800 subs man so if you guys will see that number at 1800 please be the cool guy or girl that helps us get that much closer i really appreciate it but before we hop into today's video you guys know we got to give today's comment shout out shout out to my boy jack he's first once again man I appreciate you for being the first person to comment on yesterday's video. Now, if you guys want to be like my boy Jack and get a comment shout out, all you guys have to do is be the first person to comment. Now, this is easy because we upload every single day. So you guys legit have a chance every day. Now, my best advice to you guys is obviously you guys want to make sure you guys are subscribed. Click that bell notification, select all. And whenever YouTube notifies you that we upload, click it, drop a like, drop a comment. And hopefully you guys are the first one. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into today's video. So the best players to use for the split squad one split squad one event. So this event ends in about five days, guys. I apologize. I brought I brought you this video a couple days late, but hey, better late than never. You guys know what they say. So on July 22nd at 11 a.m. Pacific time, the rules are as follows: National League pitchers and infield, American League outfielders, or any All Star Series players. Any All Star Series players. Three inning games with quick count, so these games go by super quick, guys. Difficulty is on All-Star, so very easy. And there's free entries. If you guys don't know, you guys can just keep entering this over and over and over. Don't have to pay no stubs or anything. Now, the key thing I said twice right there was any All-Star Series players. Now, in this video, guys, your boy hasn't really progressed too much on Team Affinity Season 3. You only have about, I think, two um, All-Star Series players from the Team Affinity Season 3. So I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of other cards you guys can be using um, besides those cards in this video. And I still think they're uh, um, the best cards to use. But if you guys have the All-Star Series players and you guys are rocking with them, you guys want to create a whole team with them, by all means, do that. But we're going to be giving you guys pitchers, relief pitchers, and then the whole starting lineup and bench bats as well. So let's get right into it, man. So I already created my team and everything, had everything preset already beautifully. So my rotation is looking like this. We got the 97 Cliff Lee. We got Corbin Burns, Fernando Valenzuela, Edward Cabrera, and Pedro Martinez. Now, the two pitchers I think that are a lock, um, you guys have to have them. If you guys do have them, is Fernando. You got to have Fernando. He's a lock. Easy, easiest time to freaking uh, parallel up his card. And he's very difficult to hit because that screwball, guys, the screwball has a ton of movement. And it's beautiful, man. And the other guy that's a lock, if you guys want to get W's, is Edward Cabrera. And hopefully other people use him as well. He is very difficult to hit. But the more you face him, the more easier it's going to be for you guys to hit. So hopefully more people are using this card in the event so you guys can get practice with it. Because in ranked seasons, man, this guy, he's crazy. He's probably considered the best pitcher in the game if you guys didn't know. But these two pitchers right here are a lock for sure. You guys got to have them on your team. Everyone else, you can... Um, interchange them like this Pedro I want to parallel him up to parallel five eventually so I'm using him Corbin Burns I want to get him to parallel five so that's why I'm using him but he's also a very good choice as well and then Cliff Lee um I haven't used him too much I wanted to give him a shot I love his repertoire and I've, I've heard good things about him now I know some of you guys have that 99 some affinity Jacob the Grom if you guys want to work on that parallel by all means throw him in there as you guys can see we have the live series I'm not too too much of a big fan of Jacob the Grom's card as far as the pitching goes that's why I don't really use them as much. But if you guys want to use them, by all means, use them. So now we're going to move on to relief pitchers, guys. Um, I didn't get too many relief pitchers from the relief pitcher tab right here. But Wade Davis, guys, if you guys have this card, please make sure he's on your squad. He is dangerous. Four seam cutter, knuckle curve sinker, 116 hits per nine. This Wade Davis card, if you guys don't have him, he is going for about 5,000, 8,000 stubs right now. But he is a lock, man. He's a very good card. Got to have him. I have Kenley. Um, he's not a lock unless you guys really like Kenley, but I really like Kenley. So he's a lock for me another guy That's a lock. He's a gold. I think Devin Williams is a lock for this event Change up four seam cutter two seam and a screwball. This guy's dangerous when he comes up to pitch man He's very difficult to hit at least that's how I feel he is playing down today But I think Devin Williams and Wade Davis are the two locks from here and the last lock Which is interesting because I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys probably wouldn't even think about it it's going to be my boy, Tim Hill. Now, if you guys know Tim Hill, he has a weird, and I mean weird, windup. He throws from, like, the sidearm low. It's, it's weird, man. You guys got to see it. To, to, you guys got to see it. Add Tim Hill to your squad, and I guarantee it would throw your opponent off 
big time because they're gonna be like why does this man have a bronze coming out the bullpen his per nine are not the best but he does have a sinker four seam and a slider and like i said that funky windup will help you get a lot of dubs in events um but that's it for relief pitchers now we're gonna move on to closing pitchers now if you guys have the goose gossage you guys gotta have him or if you guys have the the 99 goose gossage gotta have him as well either or gotta have him out gotta have a uh, goose gossage he's a lock if you guys don't have him though um you guys gotta replace him but he's a lock I have Yuri's Familia because I haven't really used him too much, but I'm excited to because his repertoire is nice and he throws hard. Um, another lot, guys, is Josh Hader. You guys got to have Josh Hader in your bullpen. He's just amazing, especially because his live series card has a change up now, which is game changing, man. game changing. If you guys face Josh Hader, you guys know his windup is funky and hard to time sometimes. Um, and I think that's oh, And the last guy, come on now. The silver Aroldis Chapman. You guys got to have this. Now, if you guys see my bullpen right here, you guys see the three left-handed snipers. Tim Hill, Josh Hader, Aroldis Chapman. I personally think that's all the lefty, lefties you guys need in the bullpen. And you guys will be good for this event. So, take a look into that. Um, and the only guy, yeah, I haven't missed anybody. That's it. So, that's pretty much my bullpen you guys see. Wade Davis, Kenley, Devin Williams. So, I'm going to go over the locks. So, Devin Williams, Tim Hill, Hader, Chapman. And Goose Gossage and Wade Davis. Those are the locks. Kenley and then Yuri's Familia could be interchangeable depending on how you guys rock with them. But um, like I said, those are the locks that I feel like you guys gotta have on your team. Now let's go over the lineup. Now for catchers, guys, you guys know, everybody knows my guy Will Smith. I think he's the best catcher in this game. Gonna still ride with him to the end with that. Um, but just for the sake of this video, I don't want to just keep saying that. I think. Kbert Ruiz will get the job done, man. 91 contact against righties, 88 against uh, power against righties, with 71 fielding, 73 arm, 62 reaction, and 75 block. I think he can get the job done for you, man. Not to mention he is a switch hitter, which is amazing. Good, good catcher to have on your uh, your lineup. But like I said, also as well, guys, if you guys have an all-star catcher like JT Real Muto, like by all means use him over Kbert. I just don't have him, so I think Kbert's a solid option, though. So. Maybe, I probably would even still use Kaber over JT, but JT removes the stats that are nasty. So what can I say? Or any other catcher 40 uh, All-Star Series version. So first base, your boy's got the Vladdy. Got to have him. Vladdy Daddy Jr. Um, he's amazing. Got to have him. Um, if you guys have him, please use him. If you don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Uh, second base, I got Jackie. If you guys don't have Jackie by yet, you guys should because the 42 Series cards are really, really low in price. And I'm paralleling up his cards, so I'm going to be using him. So I get him parallel fives. Third baseman, guys, I'm using two of them. I just got Chipper Jones. So I'm going to be debuting him later in stream. We're going to be streaming today, guys. Got to throw in this plug. 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we'll be streaming twist.tv slash the real jessed123. Or we will be streaming today on YouTube as well. We, we stream on both. So whatever you guys like to watch your streams on, I got you. Both platforms. Anyways, Devers is my bench bat. So I think this Devers is really good. Um, can't wait to use him. For as, as for shortstop goes, I think there's only one good shortstop in the game, and I think that's Tatis, the live series. How could you not like this guy? Amazing, man. This card is amazing. That's so good for me. Can't wait till he gets a better card, if he does. Um, now, for left fielders, I personally only went Babe Ruth and Jordan. Babe Ruth, um, he is my starting left fielder. I've If you guys were in stream yesterday, I hit so many home runs with him yesterday. He's amazing. He's a glitch. Gotta have Babe Ruth. Um, Jordan Alvarez is a lock for the bench bat. You guys got to have Jordan. He's so scary when he comes up to the bat to bat because he could just hit a home run like nothing. Center fielders, obviously, I'm still well. I just parallel five Mike Trout. So, but Mike Trout, you got to have if you have Trout, you got to have him on your squad. Jason Dominguez, I'm working on the parallels, got to have him on the squad. And then Buxton and Mickey, they're on the Mickey's on the bench because he has max uh, power against lefties. And Buxton's on the bench because of his speed. That's the reason why I have him. And then finally, from the right fielders, I don't have anybody. Now, let's go over the bench. So, like I said, I have Jordan. Jordan, because he's just scary, can hit a home run at any time. Mickey Mantle has maxed out uh, power against lefties and amazing contact against lefties. So, I think you got to have him on the bench. Ryan McMahon, this is someone I fumbled over. This guy is a lock for the bench bat or your starting position. If you guys know McMahon, just look at his stats, man. This is by far probably the best top now card. SDS has ever released. Ring Madden's got to be on your team. Like I said, I do have Devers and then Buxton for the speed. But yeah, man. So this is pretty much the best players to use in this event. I know, I know. Like I said, I don't have a lot of the All Star Series players. So if you guys have those, you guys can fill in the holes. 
with some of my replacements or replace some of my cards with those cards but i made the best team possible without basically the, the all-star series cards Did i say 42 series cards early i might have i don't know but yeah guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video man drop a like if you guys did and like i said we're going to be streaming today 5 to 6 p.m pacific time it's going to be between those times we're probably going to be streaming for about three to four hours again yesterday was amazing let's make today just as amazing if not better i appreciate you guys for watching man drop a like if you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one it's been your boy jesse d123 and i'm out